so let us simulate voltage series feedback amplifier so first of all uh, let us observe the architecture and let us observe that configuration over here so what i'm trying to do is so here i will be taking my input signal i call it as vs source signal so that source signal will be applied over here through the capacitor i will be connecting to my amplifier so here what i observe is this is what my input signal which is appear to the transistor and uh, this transistor circuit is like uh, in this common emitter configuration this is your common emitter amplifier so where from this point to this point we call it as a common emitter and after that what i do is the similar kind of common emitter i will be connecting it once again so this is what my second stage amplifier c amplifier 2 so where whatever that output i get it over here i will be giving as input and i will be collecting my uh, actual output over here so this is what my source input this is what my input of amplifier and this is what your output of the amplifier so this arrangement we call it as a multi-stage amplifier so this arrangement we call it as a multi-stage amplifier so what i do is i am going to draw the configuration it over here in terms of block diagram this is what your multi-stage amplifier so i call it as ab and already we know the gain for this amplifier is uh, let us uh, calculate it once again so again for the single stage amplifier it is ce1 and uh, again for the ce2 is uh, is around like uh, in the previous case in the previous uh, simulation we observed that uh, the gain for this stage is around 125 125 because that a uh, pull up a pull down like we have calculated and simulated it value around 125 and uh, for this circuit where so this point was grounded this point was grounded so this is what this was the circuit where i have in the previous case and i observed that the gain for this one is around 60 around 60 so now overall gain is 60 times of 125 and i got the gain around like a 7500 so this is what your av in the previous case but now like i have done some modification where i will be keeping extra resistance over here so this will be a part of like connecting my feedback to uh, from the output stage so instead of connecting my ground directly to uh, this point so across which i will be connecting my resistance also so it will be considered as a feedback network i uh, will discuss that also so once i keep this resistance also uh, let us like uh, let us break this connection and only concentrate on the c amplifier only so after that we'll be getting a feedback we'll be adding that feedback it will later on so let us see that uh, what will be the gain of this test if you calculate the gain of this test if you don't have this resistance we got the gain around like a 60 and a 60 multiplication with 125 we got it around like a 7500 that av will be taken as a 7500 that was like in the multi-stage amplifier case so now after you add this one so my arrangement will be arrangement will be so there will be a pull up value around like 2.2 kilo ohms in parallel with the, the input resistance of this circuit will not be deviated as we observed like it will be around like 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm that will be the pull up resistance uh, that will be a pull up resistance and uh, coming to the pull down so previously pull down resistance in the sense small dynamic resistance of re it is around like 10 ohms was considered so 10 ohms was considered and now now there will be of resistance of like 100 ohms also will be considered will be taken into the account because like uh, this capacitors anyhow it will be bypassed so the resistance over here it will be zero so this will be the total pull down resistance with the pull up of this much so if you calculate there will be around like a uh, 666 uh, ohms over here by 110 ohms over here so if i calculate it if i calculate it
682 ohms by uh, 682 ohms by uh, 110 it will be around uh, it will be around uh, mm, it will be around uh, uh, 6 we got it 6 we got it so now the gain offered by this circuit is not around 60 because of emitter resistance which we added of this much so the gain of this circuit will be becoming 6 so becoming 6 in the sense whatever the gain was expected is around 7500 now 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 uh, it is around like a 125 times of the second stage into uh 6 times by the first stress it is around like a 7000 7750 so 750 so now if i calculate it uh the same value through the simulation also let us observe let us observe so let us observe so this is what uh, my multi stage amplifier case this is what my multi stage amplifier case so let us break this connection uh, as of now i don't want to give the break uh, like feedback now so after like i calculate av totally i will connect my feedback yes so now if i calculate it this is what your my first stage this is what my first stage uh, where i get a input of how much The input of how much? Uh, so around like two divisions into hundred micro. It is around two hundred micro. So input is around two hundred micro. So input is around like a so two hundred micro. Input around like a two hundred micro, and uh, output will be around uh, so two divisions into five hundred. It will be around uh, around. Uh, we stop this one so where 1 2 3 4 5 5 into 2 it's around like a 1000 units so it's around like a so 1000 units 1000 micro so we got it gain around 5 is approximately we calculated the gain to the theoretical so theoretical calculation wise we got the gain around 6 and after we simulate also we get it around 5 So now the so total gain of the circuit is total gain of the circuit is so if I substitute it or if I replace it over here six into sorry sorry five into so five into and uh, the gain of the circuit it will be as it is there is no deviation as we have calculated the gain from the beginning C amplifier where the gain was around one point two five for every case. so i don't want to disturb it because like i want to to take it as a reference and uh, so if i calculate it it's around like uh, 500 it's around like 1 uh, volt uh, sorry it's around uh, it's around like 1 uh, milli so i will be taking it as 1 milli as it is 1 milli volts as it is because that same voltage will be appeared over here that even i i can see that the same thing here so around like 500 milli uh, micro per division there will be two divisions in the sense my input is 1 milli volts and uh, coming to my output is output is there will be 50 units of this one 50 units of this one so around like a uh, 100 milli and uh, around like a uh, 25 so 125 milli volts So 125 millivolts. So this is 125 millivolts, right? If I see 1 milli to 125 milli, the gain of this circuit is will be so 125. So there is no doubt, there is no disturbance and no deviation, uh, no deviation. So we got totally it's around uh, 625 gain over here. So if I calculate it in dB, if I calculate it in dB, calculate in dB, six. 25 uh, log into 20, I will be getting the gain around like a uh, 55. So if the gain in dB, so it will be the gain in dB 55 in dB 
right? If 55 in dB. So let us see the same thing. Uh, we get it out there by uh, border plotter or not. So if I put my border plotter here, also it is showing that gain is around like a 56 dB. So what uh, calculations through which we got it around like 55 and uh, here also it is showing around 55, it's around 55 and 56. So now this is what you are multi-stage amplifier. We have simulated and we have observed that voltage gain of the multi-stage amplifier is around like a 55 dB or a 625 units. Yes, so what I wanted to do is, so the gain is around like a 625. My signal and my voice signal is audible up to uh, it will be amplified by like 625 times so it is let us suppose audible up to 625 benches where i wanted to change that i am using a native feedback i have to reduce the gain 625 to somewhere so i will be putting a table over here i will be putting a table over here so without feedback without feedback feedback i got a gain around gain around uh, 625 and in db 55 and now i will be using a feedback i will be using a feedback so what feedback i'm using there is a like voltage series feedback i'm using so the voltage sample which i have it at the output i will be collecting it over here uh, collecting it over here uh, the voltage enter voltage signal over here i will be collecting and uh, there is a beta network so here i can say this network is called a beta network so this network as we know the beta network consists of like uh, act passive components where through two resistors what i have it through which i will be changing the resistance over here and i can change the beta value so beta value depending upon these two resistors i change the beta value so that uh, i can i can adjust my gain so whatever the gain i got it around uh, 625 so around like in db it's around 55 like i will be simulating in the same case i will be keeping the resistance over here it is very high so i will be doing a mixing over here i'll be doing a mixing over here right so if i observe here this is what your c is mixing because like uh, my source signal over here source signal over here vs previously it was connected directly to over here v input now because this this network because of this network so whatever the feedback signal it is appeared over here the feedback signal which is generated over here so now actual input previously it was like a v input which is appeared over here v plus and v minus across the base and emitter junction now what happening is previously v input is equal to v s so this point minus this point right so now what happening because of the feedback v s minus so this feedback signal over here it will be added so at minus it will be added so now it will be minus v f so now because of like subtraction where like uh, my feedback signal is mixed at a opposite phase so i treat it as a negative feedback so because of the negative feedback configuration what i do is what i observe is because of like uh, the the feedback signal is mixing at the input uh, in the series in the series because of the mixing i will be observing the gain over here i will be observing the gain over here so let me simulate it so gain will be gain will be around 56 itself because i i can i can clarify i can explain this one uh, where like the resistance value if it is very big so the sample which is trying to mix it at input is very small so it's almost like a, almost like a, the beta value is very very small so beta value is very very small so nothing will be mixed over here so the deviation of the gain will nothing will be will, will not be there so what i do is i'll be changing the beta value now so i will be taking another case where in the first case so beta value is very very small and uh, the resistance we take it over here is r10 is that take it around uh, 470 kilo ohms i uh, take it around 470 kilo ohms so 470 kilo ohms so because of that heavy resistance high resistance so the sample which is mixed the quantity quality quantity of the sample which is mixed is very very small so it treats like a no feedback is connected even though feedback connections were there because of the high resistance it is treated as like open high resistance it's like open circuit so the gain still it will be around like a 55 db itself 56 db itself 
56 db itself right 56 db itself right so now what i do is i will be changing this resistance i will be changing this resistance i will be changing this resistance uh, instead of like uh, 470 what i do is i will be connecting uh, the resistance of 100 ohm 100 kilo ohms i will be connecting it uh, around 100 kilo ohms so let me simulate it once again so where I can observe that uh, the gain over here it is 52 dB. So now the resistance value is reduced to 100 kilo ohms. So what happening is like it's becoming 52 dB. It's becoming 52 dB. So 52 dB means uh, whatever the gain we expected, whatever the gain we expected, right? So it was like audible with the gain of 55. So I have to reduce the volume like I have to reduce the strength of the output I have to reduce the DB value so 55 to 52 able to reduce by little bit by using the feedback so where this is what my tuning network where I keep it outside that uh, that uh, the resistance tuning will be kept at output outside of the amplifier circuit so by adjusting this resistance by adjusting this resistance increasing or decreasing where I increase the maximum value I will be getting the maximum gain where I reduce this, where I reduce this, the gain will be reduced automatically. So where I reduce this, where I reduce this, so I reduce it up to 100 kilo ohms. I will be doing it further. So I will be doing it further. So I will be keeping it to 40, 50 dB, 50 kilo ohms now. 50 kilo ohms now. So I'll be doing it to 50 kilo ohms. So it is now 49 dB. So if I keep it around 50 kilo ohms, if I keep it around 50 kilo ohms, so it is now now it's a 49 dB. So I will be doing it uh, further also. So if I keep it to 40, 40, 40, 48, 20, Forty three, so twenty kilo ohms, so forty three dB. So like that, I want to to reduce the volume of the output by reducing the strength of this resistance. By increasing the resistance value, I can increase the volume. By reducing this one, I can reduce the volume. So that is how like I can get a adjustable gain. That is how I can get a adjustable gain by using the variable resistor over here. So this is my 